With GitHub, our repositories are on the Internet. GitHub is a website and hosting service for Git repositories, meaning it's a place to store and access our repositories on the Internet. Using GitHub, it's easy to share our code with anyone that has an Internet connection. And it doesn't cost money to create a GitHub account. Because of this, GitHub is very popular and is used by open source projects, which are projects that are openly developed and maintained by a community of developers. Since repositories can be private, GitHub is commonly used by companies to manage their coding projects. And it's used by developers, designers, and other creatives to show off their portfolio. Many employers want to see examples of your work by looking at the code or designs you've posted on GitHub. Be sure to put your best foot forward when creating your GitHub persona and sharing your code. With GitHub, we create a remote Git repository. It's called a remote repository because it's not local to the project's working folder. Rather, it's on the Internet. We then use Git to synchronize the commit history between our local and remote repositories. What does that mean? We commit our files to the local Git repo in our working folder, then copy the local Git commit history to GitHub, keeping it safe from local computer issues and making it available to share with others. And if we make changes directly to our files in GitHub, we copy those changes down to our local Git repo, basically keeping the two repositories synchronized. Millions of developers store their remote repositories on GitHub. Let's compare GitHub to Git. GitHub is a website that hosts remote Git repositories. Git provides a set of commands to initialize and manage our local repositories residing in our project folders and synchronize our local repositories with their remote repositories on GitHub. You can use Git without GitHub, but you can't use GitHub without Git. We can optionally use GitHub to share our project code with others. Say we are working together on the Sports Store project. I have my working folder on my computer. You have your working folder on your computer. We define a remote repository for the project. I clone that repository, which makes a copy of the entire project commit history on my computer. You also clone the repository, which makes a copy of the entire project commit history on your computer. We can both work on the project and at any time synchronize our changes between our local repository and the remote repository on GitHub. Each time I sync up, I pull down your changes and push up my changes. And you do the same, pulling down my changes and pushing up your changes. We'll walk through this process in detail later in this course. Because GitHub is great for working with others, it also has many collaboration features, such as issue tracking to manage feature requests, bugs, and other issues. Pull requests, which are requests to pull code you've changed in a branch, into the main branch for the project. Code reviews for feedback on your changes. Wiki for creating project documentation. And CI CD. CI is continuous integration and involves automatically building your code, running tests, and integrating your changes into a single shared set of code. CD is continuous deployment and involves automatically providing code changes to the users. We'll cover more about pull requests later. See the lesson links at the end of this lesson for more information about these collaboration features. So, GitHub is a website for hosting our remote Git repositories. We use GitHub to store a copy of our local repository on the Internet for safekeeping, share our code with others, work on open source projects, manage company coding projects, and share our portfolio. Plus, GitHub provides many team collaboration features. Now that we've been introduced to both Git and GitHub, let's talk more about repositories.